You're watching Reaction Check. Hello and welcome to Reaction Check. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are going to talk about a film called Asuran. It stars Dhanush and is directed by Vetri Mara. Now this review contains spoilers. So if you haven't seen the film, I recommend to watch the film first and then come back and see what we think about this film. The story of the film is a stereotypical one, which we get to see in a lot of Indian films, be it the North or the Southern films. In this film, Sivasami, played by Dhanush, is on the run with his family while attempting to save his son Chidambaran from the consequences of murdering a wealthy man. Now this is a story that I have actually seen in a lot of other Bollywood films as well or because I have not seen many Tamil films I'm not sure if this is something that repeats but it's not about this particular line but the entire film has a cast of characters that have played their roles in a brilliant manner. And now you get to see Seba Sami um, living with his family in a small house. He's a farmer, he has his wife, he has his younger daughter, a very small, maybe less than 10 year old daughter and his teenage son who he wants to get married to someone, um, someone really pretty in the village. And then he has his, uh, you know, the youngest son who is Chidambran because because of him a lot of things happen in the story and that's what leads uh, Sivasami to, to run with his family in the jungle. Now there are a lot of characters like I mentioned in the film that are very very respectable characters or very respectable ca actors in the Tamil film. Um, but one thing you get to understand is this, once the movie starts, the first frame, the background music and the kind of shots that, that lead to that particular scene is, is amazing. I was really I was mind blown by, by the fact that um, this film, um, although made in the southern film industry, I have not seen many films, I may be wrong about this, there are a lot of great films that I've recently watched in 2020 since the beginning of this year, I've been watching a lot of films including the Tamil films, now this film stood out the most, um, mostly because um, the, the way it was shot, the way the story was, or the way the script was written and all the characters in this film are, are mind blowing. And, one thing you need to understand when you watch a film, I mean, that is something that we all need to know before watching a film is what do those characters that we are in the movie for go through? Do they change? Do they bring us something? Do they educate us on, on certain things? And in this film, you get to see the characters doing that very, very frequently. And the entire story revolves around this farmer, Sivasami, whose son gets killed by this wealthy man. and. In return, as a revenge, the younger son Chidambran kills the wealthy man because the wealthy man wanted to take over the, the fields or the rice or the or the or the entire land. That is a typical story that that this entire um, uh, you know film is based on. The wealthy man wants the land, and the sons resist to that um, wealthy man's request, and the wealthy man gets rid of the elder son, and the younger son kills the wealthy man. That is what happens in the film but that is not the only thing that you should be watching the film for because the way this film has been shot the way the uh, the sequences happen they are brilliant i mean i have not seen any film uh, of vetri maran before this is the first film that i'm watching and i'm going to watch a lot of other films now if you have watched some of his films before probably you can put them in the comment section i would love to watch them and perhaps share what i think about those films but vetri maran the director did a great job he really led the characters he really led the story in a way that it drives you to watch it until the end although the conflict is not revealed immediately when you watch the film you are kept in suspense at what exactly happens in the first 20 to 30 minutes you have no idea what the story is going to be but you keep asking yourself questions like what is happening why is this scene here why Danush is in this trouble why his family is here and then you go back into the backstory where the story is revealed slowly slowly and that's when you get start paying attention to what has been happening and you want to go back to that first part of the film where the story began because you are so much invested in in this B story that is happening even before the the sequence started so it's a great way of um, of putting the story i i really it's a non-linear format where you don't see the story happening in one line but instead something happens and then you go back to the first part it's a great way of uh, um, of presenting the story i'm a big fan of uh, non-linear 
um, stories and and this is what 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 I really liked about the film and the director really kept it really tight and and the kind of background music that is used in some of the scenes or to create some tension and the build tension was was amazing and there are two such scenes that I really remember one scene is when Dhanush's character is is with his son in their field and they're on a lookout for some pigs who are um, destroying their field once they catch the once they see the pig that's when the the scene begins and and that is a scene that I would remember for a very very long time because the the build up to that scene or the kind of background music that 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 was used in that scene was was amazing I mean I was really hooked into that scene and I was pulled I was I was drawn into that scene it was it was amazing to actually watch something like that. another scene is when that happens um, uh, towards the mi middle of the movie, the center of the film, the center of the story, um, when Dhanush's character is is on the run um, with his son uh, Chidambaran, uh, who has actually murdered the wealthy man, and the wealthy man's uh, gang is looking for them, and they end up um, meeting each other in, in in some sort of a desert or some sort of a jungle, which is very dry, and that's when the character of Siva Sami. Um, you know comes out and that is the character that we have not yet seen that happens right in the center of the film and you're like okay why is he reacting this way what exactly is the backstory and right after that scene you get to see the backstory of Danush's character which is a flashback of who he was and why he is in this place and why does he always avoid these conflicts and that is a story that you need to watch and need to understand and i think that is something i appreciate about good stories and good good script writing good good characterization where where you where you are not sure why this character behaves in a certain way and not much attention is paid to to these aspects of the film uh, when it comes to characterization or building the character or character arc where you see the character moving from one phase of his life into the other phase but we are not sure why that happened but in this film attention to detail um, or attention to characters um, is, is is awesome and and I really liked it because I, I was invested I invested my time into this film and and it really gave me back something in return which was which was amazing to to actually see now there there's there's a lot that happened in the movie. I will not give you a lot of spoilers but what I thought about the film what my verdict is um, it felt really good um, um, it, it, it is not like a romantic film where you actually have to feel good but but this movie gives you the message by the end of the film you start thinking about your about your about your life structure and you start feeling for these characters you start empathizing with these characters by the end of the film and you realize that a lot of people around the world are facing a lot of challenges and this movie reflects some of those challenges that a lot of people are feeling now it's a great film i would highly recommend to actually watch it and thank you so much for watching this review with me and if there is more that you actually want to recommend or watch with me probably can put it in the comment section and let me know what you thought of this review give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe do not forget to subscribe to this channel until next review take very good care of yourself adios